It turns out that you can find the average value of a function using the integral. So, if you want to find the average of some integrable function, meaning integral means that you can take the integral of that function over some interval from a to b, all you do is you take 1 over b minus a times the integral from a to b of f of x dx. 1 over b minus a is the same thing as saying take the integral from a to b and divide it by b minus a. Now consider, what are you doing when you're finding the average of a bunch of numbers? Well, you add up all those numbers and you divide by how many there are. Well, what is an integral? An integral, in essence, is the sum of an infinite number of function values from a to b. In fact, all the function values between a and b. But we can't divide by infinity, that makes no sense. Rather, we divide by the span from a to b, the distance between them. And that will actually figure out the average function value on that interval. To see it graphically, consider some function f from a to b. When you take the integral, you are finding an infinite number of these function values going down, down, down. They're spanning the entire distance from a to b. You have all of these different function values. So you sum all of them up and then divide by how many there are, which is b minus a. Just that distance right there. It is exactly the same thing as what you did in Algebra 2 when you found the average of a list of numbers. There is no difference. Now, let's take a look at an example. Let's find the average value of f of x equals x squared on the interval from 4 to 8. So we use the average value of a function formula, which is f average is equal to 1 over b minus a, so it's 1 over 8 minus 4, times the integral from a to b of f of x, which is x squared, dx. All right? This is equal to one-fourth times the antiderivative of x squared, which is one-third x cubed, from four to eight. Well, let's take out this one-third to make things a bit simpler. One-fourth times one-third is one over twelve, and now let's plug in our eight. We've got eight cubed minus, we'll plug in our four, now we've got 4 cubed. 8 cubed minus 4 cubed, you can use a calculator or you can do it out. That's equal to 448. And 448 divided by 12 is equal to 37.3333333 bar. And this right here is the average function value of x squared on the interval from 4 to 8.